Hi, I'm Jill Daly, one of the co-founders of Soy Dog Foundation. Thanks to all our wonderful supporters over the last 11 years, we've become the largest welfare charity for stray dogs and cats in the whole of Southeast Asia. Every year, Soy Dog gives essential medical treatment to thousands of stray dogs and cats and saves countless lives. I'm talking today about a critical issue. Soy Dog gives the best care we possibly can with the resources we have, but sadly those resources are not always enough and dogs are suffering as a result. Right now, the stray dogs of Thailand urgently need a new high quality dog hospital. This dog we call Wisdom. He was knocked down and his leg was badly crushed and had to be amputated. He will stay with us until hopefully he is adopted. Zidane was dumped in a local bus station and was covered in oil. It took ages to clean it all off. And as you can see, both his eyes have cataracts in them. We built a high quality cat hospital in 2012 so cats can receive excellent treatment without the stress of being near dogs but we've actually used the same veterinary clinic for sick and injured dogs since we moved here. The clinic was sufficient when Soy Dog was a smaller organisation that helped fewer animals, but today it's just not enough. It's too small for the number of animals we treat now and the number of staff caring for them. The kennels in the clinic, which are for dogs with the most severe problems, are cramped and so difficult to clean properly. We don't have the space to house the many dogs with contagious diseases to ensure they don't infect other animals. Because the clinic is too small, most dogs getting treatment at Soy Dog are housed in the treatment runs on the other side of the shelter. These runs are dark and damp, which worsens their illness. The new hospital will contain an excellent operating theatre, an isolation unit for dogs with contagious diseases, a physiotherapy room, an intensive care unit, an x-ray machine and ultrasound, a mother and puppy unit and more than 70 kennels. Azari had been thrown out of his home as his owners no longer wanted him. As a result, he was run over and we took him to a local vet for an x-ray. This is just one of the many examples of why we so desperately need an x-ray. This is Jessa. He's got three broken legs. If we had the new hospital right now, once his legs were healed, he would be going on to physiotherapy. But sadly, we do not have the facilities at the moment. This is the largest project Soy Dog has ever committed to and I am determined with your help, and I can't do it without your help to make this happen for the dogs of Thailand. Please, please help me by donating to this cause.